I feel like I haven't done this in absolutely forever, but here goes. I'm gonna vlog. I'm just gonna very quickly get ready because I am dropping the last of my grab bags off. I ultimately decided to convert my home into a studio, um, specifically the Chili Buddy Studio. So if you don't know, I started a new business. It's called Chili Buddy Studio and it's for me to sell my small batch handmade ceramics and crochet. For the past, I want to say like maybe five years, I just felt like my job and my role as like a beauty or lifestyle influencer could still evolve and change. I was at, oh my god, this is a really fucking ugly background. God, let me at least look a little cuter. So I was on this influencer trip. This influencer that I met, her name is Lian. Oh, she's just one of the nicest humans I've ever met in my life. She's just beautiful inside and out and I just love her and like I don't even know if she remember this but she had asked me like so what's next like do you have any plans you know beyond this YouTube career and I was like oh I haven't really thought about it and then she had said something along the lines of like well I really hope that you you do because it's just such a pity if you don't I think it was one of the best compliments I've ever received but it also really stuck with me because I was thinking like dang is is this it? I'm just kidding. Like, is there any other thing that I can be contributing to society? I always confronted myself with this question when I wanted to reevaluate how my life was doing. Eventually had a big burnout, if you guys recall. And I took that six month long break and finding a rhythm that works for me and how I want to do things differently this time. So yeah, like with the crochet and the ceramics and being able to make like functional art, I decided that this is what I want to do. Okay, so with that, let's go go and drop all of these grab bags off. Alright, gonna check on the boys. Now that I'm back, baby. How you guys doing? Oh, wow. That is some of a gift you've left me. Thank you. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, I'm getting mauled. Oh my god, guys. Look at his mouth. I did it. I made golden paste, which is like a turmeric paste. Taco, chill out, guys, guys. Camera. Yeah. Oh. Well done, high five. Sounds good. And down. Wait, wait. And can you crawl? <laughs> I came back to check on the dogs. Uh, this is my partner's house. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch and then get back to sorting the shelf out. So let's make some lunch first. It's very late now. I wanted to cook with salmon, but I forgot to defrost it. Oh, I saw a hack on TikTok that says you could do this, liars. They say if you hook it to the side and you pull it like that, it's supposed to be able to just... <gasps> Damn, that's a good trick. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot to water this plant this week. Sorry, sorry. Paisy. Okay. I really don't feel like washing another bowl. I'm just gonna eat it off the pot. Yay. Bon appetit! Hey guys! Do you want to go to my place? Voice! Oh my god, chill! Alright, come on in! <laughs> this is how life has been for me. Just travelling back and forth on the same floor across two different houses. <laughs> I bought these off of Taobao because I just want to try this trend and see if I like it. So let me come back. Oh, check out the details. I feel like I have a lot of very nice, very cute clothes, but I'm always really wary about wearing it out because I'm just so tired of sexual harassment and would not like it to happen. So I never actually wear my fits, but this is new. I feel cute. I just shot some photos for my pottery pieces. Here they are. I cut some cuttings from my Swiss cheese plant and it's going so well. Okay, the real task of today 
is hopefully it's a little bit dark now let me try and turn on the lights i never willingly turn on ceiling lights but here i am okay so we are gonna be tackling this so that's my bit i wanted to better utilize this space and the first step in order for us to do that is to look for furniture that will kind of fit um the studio vibe and be able to house all of the yarn that's just sitting on the bed so i managed to source for these iva shelves i managed to find it on carousel by a lady who was moving out and she was only selling it for like 60 bucks so i just went over like earlier today dismantled it picked it up so right now my partner and i are going to dismantle the bed and then the shelves will ideally go flush against the back here and hopefully also cover the circuit breaker because it's not that cute mm. so at least for now i have some space to put my yarns and stuff while i get ready to saw some more things for my studio okay so first things first i gotta clear this bed it's just full of yarn and other stuff that i've been needing to sell so clear my blanket my pillows and also dismantle these like pull out mom drawers i'm just gonna pull them apart to like flat pieces for easy storage and then we're gonna disassemble the bed and then of course a mandatory cuddle session with taco because he's just damn thingy like you'll see the boys throughout this entire time <laughs> after setting the drawers aside we proceeded to disassemble the main frame so removing the mattress, removing the slates, and then just unscrewing everything. Okay, we're gonna move this cupboard out so that we can disassemble the bed frame. Aha, okay, now you can see us a little bit better. Once we've finally disassembled the entire bed frame, we're just gonna keep the frame, give the floor a good vacuum, and time to set up the Iba shelves, yes! So my partner's built these Iba shelves for her place before, so she's very familiar with them, and the trick is to put the frame on the ground and fix the top pieces first, just so that they're steady, and then from there, you can put in the little pins and build your own shelves. And honestly, it's quite easy. Um, would recommend you have someone with you, because as you can tell, it's just easy easier to balance and to just get the shelves on a lot faster. Team, what makes the dream work, baby? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You didn't have 10, you have 12. I have 12? Oh, shocking it! So because I didn't plan very well and I miscounted the number of shells that I had, uh, we had to readjust a little bit but no problem, got the job done. And now we're trying to move the mattress into that little spot there and tuck it away for future use. Okay, so this is the situation. We managed to hide the bed, the mattress, and some of the pieces here. Just gonna show you guys what the Aiba shelves look like. Pretty happy with it! So basically, I just had to set it up and get it out of the way first because it was very handy in helping me sort out all of my declutter stuff, put everything on a yard sale. Ideally, that shelf next time will house my um, drying pieces of pottery. And I'm going to sort all of the colour, double check my inventory and just make sure everything is okay. Okay, I know you might be wondering why is there so much yarn. First of all, there's a lot of different types of yarn for me to explore. But also because I don't know if you noticed, but the bags that I make, right? That actually takes like three to four balls per bag. So yeah, I have a lot of yarn, but it's kind of like necessary for the process of like designing and making the bags. So now I'm just going to try and separate the plain colours from the variegated colours and then sort them out according to colour schemes. Okay, so first things first, I'm sorting out the top shelf, dropping off colours that don't match, putting the experimental colours in these crates because I'm not ready to use them yet, and also replacing my barong on the third shelf with neutral fuzzy yarn. Taco! Taco is fully cuddling the yarn. Taco bunny, I'm so sorry! 
All right, okay, don't judge me. I don't know why, but I actually find sorting and organizing things very, very therapeutic. And I just love like color coordinating. So I didn't really have like a super strict plan, but I just wanted all of my plain colored fuzzy yarns to fit perfectly on the shelf. So the goal was really to just fit everything into the second shelf perfectly. We do neutrals on one side, on the right, and then colors on the left. And I think it worked out pretty great. And then next Next, I want to sort out my special yarns. So these are yarns that I haven't really developed anything for, but I want to use and try and design some artisan yarns, like some really fun ones. Oh, damn, is that? Yeah, yeah. It got knotted up because I didn't like secure each ball properly. That tends to happen. So I'm just trying to sort it out as I go. But obviously I'm like, dang, it's a mess trying to keep it as neat as possible and to try and organize them in a way where they're accessible but I also know that they're hidden away from dust, away from sunlight. So yeah, that is a gigantic mess that I'm just gonna have to fix later. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the yarn back onto the third shelf. So for some of the yarns that came in nice bags, I just keep them like that because it's just easier for me to see them and to keep them. And I also like to keep a basket of like miscellaneous yarn of spare colors that I might be using in the moment or um, throw away yarn like yarn that I got with this like knitting machine that actually kind of sucks so I just use it as like a, a pattern maker just to try something um, but I didn't really like how the basket didn't match the other like drawer insert so yeah I'm just gonna replace it and put it back and BAM it looks so much better don't you think? I know the studio vlog is ending a little bit abruptly but I basically filmed over four days and if I were to put everything in one video it's like three hours long so I'm just gonna stop here for today um come back next week for episode two and you'll be seeing more of like a little day in my life if you like this video like it if you want to you can click the subscribe button and it'll notify you when i make a new video if not just come back next week are you okay baby what happened baby i think they want to go out <laughs> let's go out